Hey everyone, it's Bella from MergerData.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can utilize collapsible filter containers in Tableau to create more effective and efficient dashboards. Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see here, I have a sample dashboard and I have two filters on the right hand side. And my issue with this is that the filters are kind of taking up a lot of space on the dashboard and we want to utilize even this little space that we're taking up with the filters with the dashboard data. So what I can do is I can make a collapsible filter container. So what I'm going to want to do is I already have these filters in a container and I can double click and highlight the entire container. And the first thing I want to do is make it a floating container. So I can go to more options and click floating. And now the filter is a floating container, so I can put it anywhere I want to, and it might go over the graphs if that's what I want to do. Um, you can really just move it around anywhere. And let's change the background color on this. So if you wanted to, you could make it transparent, um, which is usually the default option. And if you wanted to change the color, you just have to highlight the container again, go to layout, go to background, and then change the color. So we'll change it back to white. So now it's an opaque background, so it won't be transparent. So once you have selected the color that you want, you're going to go ahead and select this container again, go to the arrow and click on the show hide button. So now that the show hide button is here, this is our little button that we're going to use to hide the containers and show them again when we want to. And to test this button without presenting the dashboard, we can click the Alt on your keyboard and then hold down Alt and click the button. So now we can see that the filter is hidden. We can click, we can hold down Alt and then click it again to show the filter. We can also play with the sizing here. So I can move this down to show all the options for my plant code my plant code filter. Um, and you can also change the sizing here too. So if you had your longer one on the top and you want that one to be shown, you can mess around with the sizing here. So let's go ahead and hide this and we can place this little button anywhere we want to. I'm gonna place it in the right hand corner. And now let's see what this looks like. So if I click on here, I can see that my filters are here and they are working. Same with the plant code. And then once I have the filters that I want selected, I can hide the filters and now we can see the entire dashboard. 